vibration to it with our words. Okay, that's why spell casting is a very dangerous thing. But mirrors, uh, when you're dealing with mirrors, you're dealing with you're dealing with fallen entities. All right, it's imperative that you understand what what mirrors are. All right, um, mirrors come from the fallen realms. Okay, this is home of the fallen angels. Is one of one of the greatest tricks that the elites or or Satan himself ever used was to put the, was to get us to put these mirrors into our homes. All right. All right, so anciently the mirrors we had, we didn't use glass, okay? We used water. We used natural reflectors to reflect our image back to us. This is where the I whole idea of today's mirror even comes from. It comes from the ancient way that we practice reflection, okay? We always looked at the water to, to, to interpret, to do divination work, and when we needed to get a reflection of our image we will create water we will create waterways in front of us because we were more tuned with the elements if we didn't create river falls or waterways in front of us so what's a waterway a waterway is basically when you tap into the element of water and you create just a nice flow like a nice um waterfall of water but in front of you but it's not connected to like nothing solid it's connected strictly to the astral realms okay because water is all as pervasive all throughout the cosmos so we would do it that way or when we was down here in the physical if we happen to come down here or go to another planet um and and and, and manifest physically we always use the natural water all right when you go to a pond when you go to a lake the water gives you a natural reflection of yourself okay also, a certain crystals that we use that will give us natural reflections of ourselves. You can look at yourself in the hematite crystal, all right? Certain certain quartz crystals you can look at yourself in. So this is the ancient way of using the mirror. Now, the new mirrors that we know, the ones we see that we put in the houses, the ones we see in our bathrooms, the ones that, that, that people keep in their pocket to look at their reflection, these are all negative entities that, that, that frequent these holographic worlds because these images these mirrors were made out of glass okay and in and the, and the understand what what glass what is glass made out of glass is made out of sand okay but what type of sand silica sand to be exact now if you used to pull out your macbook and go to what is silica sand google says silica sand is a granular material that contains i got it pulled up right here silica sand is a granular material that contains quartz crystals and and min minimum amounts of coal clay and other minerals okay it is also known as quartz sand and industrial sand and it's largely used in several construction applications the presence of silica sand on metal materials can be a source of crevice corrosion on those metals pay attention to that silica sand is a bad thing all right metal is natural you have metal in you Notice how the last sentence says that the presence of silica sand on metal materials can be a source of crevice, meaning it will lead to corrosion of the metals. Okay? So I don't need that for it. All right? So you can eat it. Don't need that anymore. All right? So I was just telling you that the mirrors we have today are made out of glass. And the specific glass that are used for mirrors, that glass is made out of silica sand. Okay, silica sand is a form of quartz, but it's one of the quartz that they were able to get their hands on. And they, they, they remember, they have a lot of our enchantments in our spells. So what they did was when they was working with the Moors, they sat down and they did a lot of uh, 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 what's called alchemy. All right. Now, you got two different forms of alchemy. You got mental alchemy, which is the ability to transmute situations. All right. So let's say somebody sent bad energy your way. When you take that bad energy, you're able to transmute it and turn it into a good thing or use it to your benefit. That's called mental alchemy. However, the original alchemy, though, because mental alchemy is a more advanced form of, of magic, right? In alchemy. Basic alchemy is the ability to transmute base metals to gold or to transmute any, any metal into whatever you want it to be. All right? For that matter. So, you have to understand that they were using alchemy to transmute our certain quartz crystals that we had. Now, they couldn't do it with what ma well, majority of our crystals, but some of the lower vibratory crystals they were able to do it with. All right. Um, so what they were doing was once they were able to transmute it, they were able to 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 create a, a alternate realm to mimic this realm, but with intelligence. 
for knowledge. 